Hey guys, how are you today? So we're here to work with and review a brand new product. I have some details about it, where you can get it, and details about something that I'll talk about at the end of the video. There's going to be a little surprise at the end. Um, over in my blog. So this is, video is part of a blog hop. And I want to encourage you to go over to my blog. The link for it will be in the description below. It's part of my website, GinaBearns.com. There's going to be a link to the other blogs that are in the hop. And um, some really great fun projects all using this new product. So this is a deck of cards called Art Sparks. They are by Karen, uh, I don't want to mispronounce her last name, Friedland, uh oh, <laughs> Karen, yeah Friedland, sorry Karen, <laughs> um, and they look really interesting, I haven't opened them yet, I wanted to open them on camera, the tag, they're really cutely packaged in a little organza bag and the little tag says, Art Sparks Creative Project Deck, inspiring you to express yourself creatively with projects that spark your success. And the cards I know from chatting with Karen have pictures of her artwork on the front and then some sort of inspiration thing on the back. So let's open it up. Let's take the tag off. And I have to say, I'm going to take this card that is from here. You know, I'm going to save this because I could use it for something. Um, and I'm going to put it with the cards. So here is her business card. With it, with you get a, it looks like there's a uh, percentage off. And here are the cards. So let's open them. Move all of this and I'm going to zoom in. There we go. Let's get a pair of scissors. I have Kyla Gibbs, Give Hands Inspiration Deck, which I love. In fact, I think I have almost all of her additional um, um, packs, too. I love her cards. So I was really anxious to see these. The artwork, I haven't I looked at the back yet, but the artwork on the front of these cards, look at this artwork, people. Love the artwork on the front of the cards. Aren't they pretty? You, I mean, <coughs> I could get so much inspiration by just looking at the front of these cards. Inspiration for color and form, composition. Really, really, there's some great work on the front of these cards. Love them, love them, love them. Okay, so here's a couple of, it looks like, instruction cards in the back. Have a ball with your Art Sparks Creative Projects deck. To order more Art Spark decks and to shop for original paintings and prints, go to karenfriedland.com or email her. Um, materials to use with this deck. Drawing materials, paint, painting supports like paper, canvas, boards. Some projects also require gesso. Um, there's a hashtag, a Facebook group. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's put those two um, to the side and let's take a look at some of the back sides. So this is this purple card, and this is I love the colors on the front of this card. I, I'm in I'm in a purple thing right now. The back of it says imagination journey. Imagine you're in a huge bubble quite high looking down at the landscape. Are you in the city? Are there sounds? Do you see homes, trees, water, people? Take it. Take in all you see below you. Notice the feelings these sights bring, the light, colors. You're coming to more open spaces. What is the typography? Are there mountains, d desert, forest? Take in the vista from above. Let this inspire an artwork. You know, I love that, and it's really, she's not telling you to draw a flower, but she's giving you an idea of where to go with an image or a feeling. I might want to do that purple one, so let's just kind of pick a card. I might want to do the purple one, but I don't know. Let's see. There's one with an elephant. But... 
Just like we respond to our environment, so do colors. We see colors differently depending on the color surrounding them. You can play with this by placing a one inch square of color in the center of a different colored background. When does the colored square come forward? When does it recede? Are there times when both the square and the background seem to be on the same plane? So all of the cards are like that. So I'm going to pick one. I'm going to use it as inspiration to create a journal page. I'm going to fast forward through the process and I'll be back at the end. Don't forget to stay for the end because there is a surprise.
there is our page created from our Art Spark card that I chose. I love it. It reminds me of one of those impressionist paintings where it's a city street scene and it's been wet and rainy and all the city night lights are on and they're reflecting off all the water on the ground and the buildings and everything's just deliciously kind of blurry and abstract. I love that. That's not where I thought this was going to go and I wasn't really thinking about it. I was looking at the Art Spark card and letting it inspired me about where the page wanted to go and I love it. it these are really fun cards to work with and could be interpreted interpreted so many different ways. I think you guys would really enjoy them. Now the surprise bit about this blog hop is that she's giving away a deck of cards. So there's a raffle copter link in the description below and there'll be two winners. One winner is going to win a deck of Karen's cards. The other winner I'm going to give them a copy of my new book Creativity and Self-Expression, A Journey. It is a journaling workbook. It won't tell you how to draw a flower, but it may ask you, why do you want to draw the flower? Is drawing the flower going to make you happy? So if you want to figure out what in your life is going to make you happy, how to work it into your life, how to do that in a way that um, doesn't offend those that you love around you. This is a book filled with questions to ask yourself and pages for you to work through those questions. Um, artwork that you can color in and pictures of my studio space and all of that stuff. Kind of little mini conversations with me. So anyway, so one person will win a copy of my book. The other person is going to win a, co a deck of Karen's cards. So enter in uh, the raffle copter link below um, or uh, over on my blog. It'll be over there too. And and uh, think about getting a deck of these cards because they're really fun. That's it for today. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.